yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. When Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta and Raila Amolo Odinga shook hands in March of 2018, very, very many Kenyans were very skeptical of that kind of hardship. Majority of Kenyans at that time never believed that that handshake could translate to even an idea of Uhuru Kenyatta supporting Raila for the president. But now we are in 2021, only one year to elections. And there are quite a lot of speculation and very loud rumors that Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta might have just settled on Araila Amolo Odinga president in 2022. So in this video today, folks, I want us to dissect into details, behind the scenes detail, that might have led to a point that now Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta might have just settled on Araila Amolo Odinga presidency for next year. So in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel, for the very, very first time, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this YouTube channel, we do a daily political analysis on current and latest political news and events. I also kindly implore upon you to give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. Straight away to our analysis and discussion. Yes. After Uhuru and Raila Amolo Odinga shook hands, I strongly believe they had a power pact. But the power pact was to block one William Ruto from the presidency. And how was that to be achieved? That could only be achieved if Raila and Uhuru worked together. And then down the line, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to appear that that alliance, or rather that marriage, between Uhuru and Raila was heading to some rocks. And then there emerged some details and some informations that Raila Amolo Odinga and Juan William Ruto were about to form some kind of an alliance. Then Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta quickly reached out to Raila Amolo Odinga and that idea was just killed. So in this video, folks, I strongly believe that there are four reasons, four strong reasons that might have made Uhuru Migai Kenyatta just to settle on Raila Amolo Odinga presidency. And the first reason, I believe, was because of disagreements in Oka. In this YouTube channel, for quite some time now, we've been maintaining that one of the reasons that Oka was formed was to propel a Gideon Moy presidency. Because naturally we are all Kenyans and we know pretty well that Uhuru Kenyatta's initial idea was maybe to propel a Gideon Moy president. We all know that. And then how was Uhuru to achieve that? Uhuru was to achieve that by bringing on board Kalonzo Musioka Mudavadi and also Wetangula. And if possible, these people were just to propel a Gideon Moy president. And then with the support of Mount Kenya votes, Gideon Moy, Gideon Moy would easily be the president next year. But because Oka principles never, it seems to appear that none of the Oka principles, being Kanoza and Mudavadi, none of them was ready to support a Gideon Moy presidency. So Uhuru Kenyatta was left with no option but to reach out to Raila Amulu Odinga. That's the first reason. The second reason, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that Uhuru Kenyatta might have now been forced to support Araila presidency was because Mount Kenya 
was becoming too slippery for him. Assuming Mount Kenya was solely behind the president, then the president could have easily propelled a Gideon Moy presidency without any problem. Whether Kalonzo or Mudabadi or Wetangula could have refused, the president could have just confused one of them, maybe to support Gideon Moy, and then with Mount Kenya votes, and also with the instruments of power, Gideon Moy could have just been propelled to the presidency. But Mount Kenya seemed that it was leaning towards one William Ruto. So that also complicated matters for the president. So the president had to turn to Raila Amolo Odinga because Raila Amolo Odinga has quite a lot of votes among Kenyans. So I strongly believe that that also led to maybe Uhuru Kenyatta settling on Raila Amolo Odinga. The third reason I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that might have made Uhuru Kenyatta to settle on Raila Amolo Odinga is because of the perceived growing influence and support of one William Ruto. Mount Kenya becoming slippery, it seems to appear that Mount Kenya residents, their residents, were leaning towards one William Ruto. And then assuming now that with a strong William Ruto and then with a strong Raila Amolo Odinga combining forces, that could have really frustrated Uhuru Kenyatta's eh, ca candidate in next year's election. So with a strong William Ruto, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta could not afford to lose a Raila Amolo Odinga. <laughs> could not afford to lose a Raila Amolo Odinga. So that might have also precipitated Uhuru Kenyatta's political move to work or rather to settle on Araila Amolo Odinga president to make sure he beats one William Ruto. And then the fourth reason, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that upon Uhuru and Raila Amolo Odinga shooking hands from the information we've gathered, Raila Amolo Odinga might have narrated to Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta of the history of Jaramugi and also Jomo Kenyatta, of how they worked together, and on, of how during the, at the time of independence, Luos and the Kikuyu communities were allies, and how they came to split. So Raila Amolo Odinga, I know might have narrated the story to Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And now that Uhuru was retiring in 2022, and it was also very, very, very evident that assuming Uhuru Kenyatta could not have had the handshake with Raila Amolo Odinga, then most likely William Ruto was most likely going to win the presidency. And that could have meant that permanently the bad blood that has, al that's, that has always existed between the Kikuyu community and the Luo community would just continue permanently. So they had to do something. And they felt the, wise, the wisest thing they could have done was to work together. And the only way they could work together was to form a political alliance. That might have also led Uhuru Kenyatta to settle on Raila Amolo Odinga. And then finally, one thing that might have just made Uhuru Kenyatta to settle on Raila is because of a weak Gideon Moy. Gideon Moy, from the sources we have, and everybody knows in Kenya as of now, that Gideon Moy is not a very, very strong politician. Even in his own Baringo County, when BBI was being voted in the county assembly, and I've been saying that in this YouTube channel for quite some time, his county assembly of Baringo became the first county assembly to reject BBI. So because of also a perceived weak Gideon Moi, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta was left with no option because there was no way Uhuru Kenyatta could propel a weak Gideon Moi to president. It was going to flop. So Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta had no option but to reach out to Raila Amolo Odinga, if possible, 
support Araila Amolo Odinga transitional presidency for maybe one to propel Gideon Moi to the national politics. Because from the information we have, again, ladies and gentlemen, Gideon Moi in this kind of an arrangement is most likely to be deputized Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Amolo Odinga might just act as a transitional presidency for to pave way maybe for one Gideon Moi. So having looked at all those factors, I believe that those are the five reasons that might have made Uhuru Mujai Kenyatta to settle on Raila Amolo Odinga. Politics is all about interest. And the interest of the president and also the interest of Raila Amolo Odinga might have converged to block one William Ruto. Otherwise, folks, just as I did mention, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana.